Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Hello, everyone, and thank you for taking time out of your Tuesday afternoon to join us here on Super Talk Tupelo 101.9 FM for the ICC Hour. It is September the 5th, and I hope you guys are coming off a great Labor Day weekend. Now, last week's show, we had a chance to catch up with Josh Gamble to talk about some of the Pathway programs and continuing education opportunities that we've got coming up this month over at the Belden Center. And we also talked with Ryan Todd about the ICC All-American Marching Band, heard a a little bit of a selection uh, from last year's halftime show, and we learned a little bit more about this year's upcoming halftime show as well. So if you didn't catch that show but would like to go back and check it out, you can do so by searching the ICC Hour. Pretty simple there, just three simple words. The ICC Hour on YouTube. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the page while you're there. I'm Adam Gore, the Sports Information Director here at Itawamba Community College. And the ICC Hour is being presented to you by our friends at Renaissance Bank. Kirk Hub Street is a man of many talents. Not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also a skilled swordsman, a master chef. Needs more lavender. A wonder at word games. Two tries. Every time. But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy-to-use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself a Renaissance man. On this week's show, first-year head football coach Travis Macon will stop by to talk a little football as, uh, of course, the first game of the season is this Thursday night against number 6 Jones College. The first American National Bank opening kick is scheduled for 7 p.m. at Eaton Field. And if you can't join us here in Fulton, you can hear it right here on Super Talk 101.9 FM, or you can watch it on Let's Go ICCTV.com, the Red Channel. And then later on in the show, we'll be joined by Mr. Michael Holloway. He'll tell us how you can set up tours to visit ICC and how you can learn more about all the great offerings that we have for you here at Itawamba Community College. So you want to be sure and stick around for that part of the show as well. So sit back, relax with an ice cold Coca-Cola from our friends at the Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works and enjoy the show because when we come back, we'll be joined by Coach Travis Macon here on the ICC Hour presented by Renaissance Bank. She's so extra. I've been locked out of my car for over an hour. She's already in hers. She has Renaissance Rewards Extra. She has 24-7 roadside assistance for things like flat tires, running out of gas, keys locked inside, and more. What do I have? Sunburn. You don't have to be extra to get extra. Open a Renaissance Rewards Extra account today. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. New traditions, sharing old stories, <laughs> homemade pasta, enjoy, enjoy, cheers to us, we did it, and a nice cold Coke. Okay, ready? One, ready. two. Mm. That's my recipe for magic. HVAC stands for Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning. Uh, it is a trade program that is uh, dealing with home repairs to industrial refrigeration repairs like you'd find in a 
from a convenience store to a supermarket. The degree program is two years. Uh, it is uh, four semesters uh, at 15 hours each semester. Uh, there's about 15 hours of academic classes that will be needed to be taken for the degree. With a two-year degree, a person should be able to get a job doing repairs, being a service tech for a local company, to being a self-employed uh, individual. During the program, we get the EPA certification, which allows people to handle the refrigerant and in charge of systems. There's also NATE certification that are available to students at the completion of a two-year program. An entry-level person can probably experience pay in the neighborhood of about $14.50 to $17 an hour, uh, with raises going up to the points of $22 to $23 an hour. The demand for HVAC technicians has been really well for the last few years. A lot of the technicians are older people that are at retirement age and are leaving the field, so there is a big demand for new, experienced uh, personnel. The curriculum is made up of 12 classes in the HVAC, that are three hour college credit classes, starting out with levels of someone not having any experience to getting a person to the level of getting, their, getting a job or becoming self-employed. There's also 15 credit hours of academic classes for the associate's degree that can be done online or in the classroom on the Tupelo or Fulton campus. I like this industry for the reason of being able to go different places every day for a work environment it's not always at the same location uh, the other thing i like about this it is a field that's easy to start your own business they nationwide one out of every seven that finish a two-year degree end up owning and operating their own business if you want to break the rock you need to make yourself indestructible if you want to play between the hedges you need to work out there up there down there everywhere if you want to reach the win bar, you need to lose sleep, lose count. You need to play every game like you got nothing to lose. Kirk Herbstreet is a man of many talents. Not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also a maestro of the clarinet. A famous speed solver. Piece of cake. A noted cheese connoisseur. Limburger. But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy-to-use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself a Renaissance man. That's home. <laughs> That's just like the Ravens. That's just like Pahokee, Florida. Um, that's my second home. I got my degree from there, my first degree, college degree. It's part of my heart, it's part of my soul, it's part of my spirit. And, you know, it's everything. You're the one with community college, baby. Uh, it's, it's everything. It shaped me up to being a great man because it was part of the journey of me becoming the young man I am today. And um, it's home, man. That, that's. That's it, like, I can go there and lay my head down without no problems. It'll Woman Community College, the best star here. And welcome back to the ICC Hour here on Super Talk Mississippi 101.9 FM. As always, the ICC Hour is being brought to you by our friends over at Renaissance Bank. Renaissance Bank, they are the bank that understands you, and you can find out why by visiting renaissancebank.com. Well, as I talked about in the top of the show, we're going to talk with Coach Macon. It's game week here at ICC. Football is back, and Coach, I know you're fired up. Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's a special week for us. Um, the guys, we've been working hard all summer, and now to see that we're going to go against our first opponent, the kids are very excited. The coaches are very excited. Well, let's just kind of backtrack a little bit, uh, talk about your summer, uh, what all you did this summer with the guys, and then, of course, getting them back on campus for preseason training. Uh, we got them here this summer. Um, you know, we're a young team, a lot of new faces, so they had to get in, and, you know, the biggest thing with a young group is get them to buy in, and they have to buy in fast. Um, the guys did exactly that. They came and did exactly what we asked for. Um, I praise all my coaches because they did a really good job of just making sure each group was on, on point, on on target, and just made sure that they was what they supposed to be. Gotcha. I know, um, so you guys, I always hate to use the term shorthanded, but you came in quickly, a little bit behind uh, schedule when it came to recruiting when you shifted from Cahoma to ICC, but you were able to make a lot of good ground. So kind of just talk about the coaches and you guys and just how y'all are able to build on that momentum to carry you into the summer. 
Um, the biggest thing was the relationships that we have with the high school coaches. Um, the good thing I have, uh, my coaches, two of my coaches, they're from the area. So, you know, um, Coach Moore is a big name in our district. He played here, went on and played Division One football and started in the NFL for four years. So for Coach Moore, it's coming home and giving back. So it was big to hear his name when I go into these schools now. And the same thing with uh, Coach Lucas. Coach Lucas is from Aberdeen, which is in our district. Uh, played in the, played in this league after playing in this league. Went to play Division One, and after that, you know, had a, a chance to go to the NFL. But now he's back doing what he loved to do, and that's coaching and helping you know young men become better football players. So it was big to have those guys in the district. Absolutely. Of course, it's great working with those guys. you got some other guys. Let's just go ahead and while we're talking about your assistant coaches, uh, just talk about the rest of your staff. I'm offensive coordinator, Coach AR. Um, he's not from the area, but he has recruited this area before. So when we got a chance to get with Coach AR, you know, he left um, a university school to come be in our league. And uh, he he have coached on the Division One level. So um, I'm excited to watch him work, um, just watching him, how he breaks down his scheme, how he teaches the guys. I really like that because that's one thing I tell all my coaches, we have to teach them and, you know, then coach them. So um, he has done a really good job with the offense. Um, my receiver coach is Coach Kimberlin. Coach Kimberlin is a coach that, you know, he's coming back. Um, he has done a really good job as far as, you know, helping me as far as, you know, around campus and as far as, you know, how you know the, the relationships in the district. So Coach Kimberlin is doing a really good job with the wide receivers. My offensive line coach, Coach Eddie, um, he does a really good job. He was at Division One. He was at UNA. And um, you, just to watch him, he's young, energized, and the kids love him. But he do demand for them to work hard. All right. And then just about yourself. Uh, you're uh, from Starkville. You know, you got a little bit of background but football here. For those that don't know, tell us a little bit more about yourself. I'm from Starkville. Uh, won back-to-back -back state championships um, under Coach Friend. Um, you know, we started that first 35-game winning streak. I always like to tell everybody that, you know, everybody thinks Sal Panola started it, but really Starva High started it. But um, after Starva High, I went to Northeast, uh, played there, and then after that, I went to Ole Miss. Um, so I'm very familiar with the area, too. Um, I would like to think my name is well known in the state of Mississippi. You know, got a lot of relationships with people, either played with them, played against them, or just know them through mutual friends. Well, Coach, before we get into talking about the season, uh, why'd you pick coaching? Oh, well, everybody say, you know, it's a job, but coaching is not a job for me. You know, when you wake up every morning and you're doing something you love to do, it's like I'm still playing football. So I'm still playing football. So that's why I chose coaching. It's something I love to do. Um, I love to be around the game of football. So it gave me an opportunity to go out there and watch that play one more time. We're talking with Coach Travis Macon, first year here at ICC, previously at Cahoma before uh, joining the ICC family. And Coach, uh, you know, we talked about, uh, you know, the coaches and that. So now game week, just talk about your – just how do you – I mean, you talk about, you know, you feel like you're still playing being through coaching. You know, when those lights flip on Thursday night, talk about your emotions. How are you going to feel? Um, I'm going to be excited. I'm, I'm probably going to be more excited than the kids. Um, you know, that first ball game, you know – you really don't know what to expect. You kind of guess what that guy did last year um, or what that team did last year. So, you know, I'm going to be excited. And you got the number six team in the country coming in here. I love it. You know, I love the big ball games. You know, I love the challenge. And um, I tell everybody, they be like, well, coach, we're playing Jones. Why not Jones? Mm -hmm. You know, that's who I want. I want the best. So they say if you want to be a big dog, you got to go against the big dogs. Yeah, and they most definitely do that. And I'll say this, in your time at Cahoma, that first game has been good to you sometimes. You've had some big pull, uh, pulled off some big upsets, uh, get some ranked teams there as well. So why not do it here at ICC? Oh, yeah. That's, and that's what we, you know, when we came here, that's one of the biggest things. We said we want to bring a championship to ICC. And, you know, we're going to start on Thursday night. You know, the good thing about this game, this team probably going to be in the playoffs. So, you know, why not beat them and play them again twice? So what's it going to take to get ICC back to that level, that championship level? Um, the biggest thing, um, I always tell everybody, laying down a foundation. This freshman class, you know, is is big because, you know, they're going to lay down the foundation to what we're trying to build. We don't want this to be a one-year thing. We want this to be every year, you know, when teams got, out, got us on their schedule, that they know it's going to be good football, but they're going to do it the right way. Absolutely. Now, Jones coming to the town, 
Of course, this is your first time here, but you're familiar with ICC and how mm-hmm. we do things. We're going to have the freshman run. The the your team's going to walk, you know, be greeted by fans, walk to the field. We're going to have the tailgating area. So if you're in the area, uh, you're looking for something to do on Thursday night, come out and support the Indians. Uh, as you're going to be entertained with a good football team on the field as well. Uh, and we're continuing our conversation with Coach Make it Make uh, Coach. I'm going to take a real quick break. We come back. We're going to focus on the team and talk a little bit more about those as well. And we'll be back with more right after this. Playing on tour takes years of dedication, hours of practice, focused precision, and nerves of steel. That's how you become great at the game, but not how you should bank. That's why Ali Ewing chose Renaissance Bank. Their easy-to-use app makes banking a breeze, no matter where she is. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. When my mom opened the store, I got comfortable with it and I liked the fact I like to help people and I like to make people feel good about what they wear or just in general and so once we got started and got into it it was just one of those things where I just kind of I just kind of really fell in love with it. This is a two-year all online Associate of Applied Science degree. There are no restrictions or requirements to begin working toward a business and marketing management technology degree. I think just being here and being able to um, experience what all there is within business and marketing Um, It was just something I thought I would really enjoy, which I started the first um, semester I had started, I was in class, and which I loved Ms. McCrimmon. She was awesome. She was very helpful. Students simply apply to ICC and then select Business and Marketing Management Technology as their major. I enjoy online, and it was not anything that anybody couldn't do. It works with your schedule, and it was easy for me to do online working here as well. So that was really helpful to me. This degree covers a wide range of business jobs. It's also a great way for entrepreneurs to learn about starting their own business. There are times when you will catch yourself applying what you did learn in the program, um, using it within the whatever business you're in. Many students in this program are working and are interested in earning a degree to be promoted where they work. I've also had graduates start their own businesses. There's just something about when somebody comes in and they want to find something and you're able to help them with that and they find the perfect outfit or the whatever they're needing. It's just one of those things where it makes you feel good and it makes the customer feel good. Students can start the MMT program in the fall or spring semesters. But overall, it's a fun job and um, you get to learn a lot, you get to, and if you love shopping, you know, that's a big plus too. Customer service is huge, and we want to make sure that we are able to fit that person's needs and do the best we can to help them. MMT graduates also have the option to transfer their associate degree and continue working toward their bachelor degree online. We get one thing, Crow! <gasps> what topic should we get? To the decision wheel. Come on, Dilly! Billy! <laughs> Italian sausage! <laughs> and green pepper! These neighbors are weird. Get a large two topping thin crust pizza for $8.99. Order online for pickup or delivery. Pizza, pizza. Yes. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. (laughs) Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is what we anticipate, what we work for, 
what we want to improve. At Itawamba Community College, we offer the courses, pathways, and the training that can help turn your vision of tomorrow into a reality. So why wait? Your tomorrow can start today at Itawamba Community College. The best start here. ICC Hour as we continue our conversation here with first year ICC head football coach Travis Macon and coach we got a little bit of a background on you the other coaches and the summertime now we're going to talk about the team itself um, you know you've touched on it you know this freshman is going to be an important bunch of uh, bunch of players that's going to help lay that foundation uh, for your program so let's just kind of talk about the freshmen how they've come along and if you want to mention some names feel free but I know <laughs> there's a lot of kids right now that uh, you know until those lights turn on and you face somebody different you really don't know how they're going to react in a game but uh, just kind of talk about your freshman as a whole I'm the good thing on both sides of the ball you know the freshmen they have come in and you know they work hard and the biggest thing I'm preaching with them they're playing fast they're playing hard they're hitting the weight room hard but you know I talk to them about adversity and you know I put them in bad situations at practice and to see them overcome it you know I'm, I'm very proud of those guys you know I believe when the lights come on it's going to be a lot of freshmen new faces that everybody's going to be really happy about the product we're going to put on the field yeah, and I will say this you know I've seen the guys over the summer see them on campus and uh you know they're always like hey what's up Mr. Gore and you know I'm always like man you gotta call me Mr. you can call me Gore and they're like no sir you know you know it's a very very polite group of kids and I guess that shows I'm getting old because to me when you have that type of discipline to respect your elders respect those around you it makes it a lot easier to take that type of discipline from your personal life onto the football field what are your thoughts on that um a, a old school coach taught me a long time ago if they would do right off the field it, you know when they get on the field it, it that's what they love to do so we're big on breakfast check we big on respect we big on being on time and you know i tell everybody we're raising young men so football you know is telling them look when you get that job you got to respect your boss you got to respect your employees you got to be on time so the little things is what you know we take serious here at icc yeah well I haven't had a chance to tell you, but they, you know, it's sticking with them. So that's a good thing there. <laughs> All right. So your sophomores, you know, some guys that are going to be battle tested uh, returning from last year. Uh, just talk about the importance of your sophomores and and also the, how they've helped bring these freshmen along. Um, they've done a really good job. Um, they've been with me now since the spring and we have had some guys, you know, they have grown since the time we have gotten here. Um, the biggest position is at the receiver spot, the receiver position that those guys, they are leading by example. And, you know, they're, they're telling the guys, you know, we got we to gotta have a standard. And I love what they're doing. I'm excited to see them work as a group. And I told them if they will work as a group and continue to play hard, if they will lead, we will follow and then you got any reverse transfers this year. I know uh, that's always a big thing going out and finding those guys. I know it's tough now with the transfer portal as well, but uh, you got any guys coming back in from the uh, next level? We do. We, uh, we got um, three offensive linemen that have come in and showed leadership on the offensive line. Um, one of them, is, his name is Newsom. Newsom have done a really good job of leading our guys, not just on the football side, but how to practice and I'm so excited to have him you know I have heard great things about him before he got here but when you meet him you meet his dad you would know why he's a natural leader nice and you know um, that's what you need on this level especially guys that have been on that next level because that's your freshman that's your sophomore they want to find that so they're going to naturally gravitate towards a leader in that sense so as a whole what can we expect out of your football team I tell everybody, um, if you know me, you know that player is going to – they're going to play hard, they're going to play fast, and, you know, our goal is to win. You know, I don't go out there to play games to lose. I go to win every game. It don't matter who the opponent. I'm not worried about Jones. I'm worried about who's going to show up with ICC. If the right group that I've been seeing in practice show up, you're going to be really happy about what's going to happen now, September the 7th at the end of the ball game. And of course, uh, that September the 7th, we're playing Jones College at 7 p.m. First American National Bank opening kickoff. We'll have the pregame show coming your way at 6.30. Uh, Coach, let's just kind of look down your schedule here. And 
really not doing you a whole lot of favors <laughs> in your first season here. Uh, you look at it, you got Jones, and you, we open here at Jones, so that's a good thing. Always good to open mm-hmm. at home. But then we hit the road and go on one of our longest road trips we're going to have on the – well, actually the longest road trip uh, we'll have on the year at Gulf Coast. Mm-hmm. And then we bounce back after the Gulf Coast game and hit the road to head up north a little bit to that uh, – at Northeast. So uh, those first three games, I'm telling you what, you're, mm-hmm. you're getting thrown to the fire. Well, I like it that way. Uh, and the good thing, I'm really good friends with uh, the coach at Jones. Um, I coach with Coach Wright, you know, um, and we won a championship together. So I'm excited about that game. I coach for Northeast, so I'm excited, you know, to go up there and, you know, take care of business up there. And then Northwest, when they come to town, you know, hey, I'm going to be excited because, you know, me and that head coach are really good friends. So, um I like the way the schedule is, you know, it gets me excited every week, you know, but I tell everybody that I just want to be one and no each week. And of course, you already mentioned on uh, our next home game after the Jones game will be on uh, September the 28th. That'll be against Northwest. That'll be another seven o'clock kickoff. Then we host Mississippi Delta for homecoming. Uh, we go to homes on October the 12th and then October the 19th. Uh, we step out of conference play, play at Hines, another pretty good little road trip there. And then we come back home on October the 26th against East Mississippi. And then we close on November the 2nd against the school you might know a little bit about. Uh, we close. <laughs> with Cahoma. And of course, if you want to see that full schedule, you can visit letsgoicc.com. Uh, so coach, as you said, uh, well, anytime you're in this league, and you can talk about the league as a whole, mm-hmm. anybody can beat anybody. And people, I don't think people really understand, you know, you, a lot of people say, uh, you know, I'll tell my buddies that live out uh, out West, I'm like, we're like the SEC mm-hmm. of JUCO. And they're like, well, you know, then they'll watch some games. They're like, man, you ain't kidding, you know, and then they'll hear what players come from what schools. So just talk about the league as a whole. Um, the league is the strongest league in junior college. You know, you go back and look at the national championship games, you know, for a long time, it came through Mississippi. And I tell everybody, you know, you're going to see good football every every Thursday and you're right now the league is more balanced than it ever been so every Thursday you do have to be you know on your game because you will lose just because the rank says you number five or number one you could lose that game and it happened last year a lot so and I see it doing the same thing this year so if you want to see good football you know our league is you know I think um, every game is um, stream live Mm -hmm. it's, it's good football to watch Absolutely. Of course, you can listen to the game here on Super Talk Mississippi, 101.9 FM. But if you would like to watch it, it's there on Let's Go ICCTV.com. We'll mostly be on the red channel, but uh, if anything changes there, we'll most definitely let you know. Well, Coach Macon, uh, I know we've kind of flown through this in a hurry here with <laughs> you, but uh, we give you an opportunity to, to talk to the fans, maybe some uh, recruits that might be out there listening to their family. Let's just start with why ICC. Um. In our, in our area, in our district, why ICC, it's going to be good football, good facilities, good atmosphere. So why not stay at home? You know, I'm big on if you can play football and you in my district, I'm coming to see you. I want you to be a part of this family. So, you know, ICC is a big family. You know, you're going to get good coaching. You're going to get good father figures. So come on home. And then – Thursday night, we need to pack the stands, so I'll give you, let you give a personal invite to all the fans. I want to invite all the fans to be my 12th man. I want it to be loud. I want it to be packed. These guys have been working really hard. I really would like for you to show them that, you know, you care about them and that you really come in to support them. So please come pack the house, and we'll do the same thing as far as putting on a good show for you. Thursday night, 7 o'clock, ICC versus number 6, Jones College. It's going to be a good one. Come to Fulton and join us uh, and help cheer the good guys to victory. We'll be back more of the ICC Hour right after this. Kirk Street is a man of many talents. Not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also an expert cartographer, an amateur alchemist, a surprisingly gifted poet. What rhymes with encroachment? But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy-to-use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself a Renaissance man. They say Diet Coke is a mom's drink. Well, you copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, 
her music. Now, copy her drink. Drink what your mama gave you. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. It's a Little Caesars Thin Crust Summer with a large two-topping thin crust pizza for $8.99 that's practically drowning in toppings. I'm drowning in toppings. <laughs> it's just a metaphor, Grandpa. Order online for pickup or delivery. Pizza, pizza. Electrical technology is, here at ICC, is a program where we take students in and teach them from the fundamentals of what electricity is all the way to very advanced concepts. It takes two years, it's four semesters, and you would always have to start in the fall because the semester, the courses are taught fall and spring. So in other words, the courses that are offered in the fall are not offered again in the spring, so you have to start in the fall, and it takes two years. There is a huge demand right now for electrical technicians in the workplace. As we all know, manufacturing has gotten very automated and very technical, and we cater, we meet that that need with our program here. So our, our students are, uh, are, they're definitely gonna have opportunities once they graduate, even opportunities while they're going to school here through the internship program that we have. Most of our students in, on the internship program are in that $14 to $16 range. And then once they graduate, and uh, most industries does a, a, a pre-employment exam, and then they test to see where those students will fit into their, to their pay scale. Uh, I would say that most of them fall in that uh, 18 to $22 uh, an hour uh, after graduation. So it's a really, really hands-on program. So that, that's another thing that students need to be aware of. Uh, if, if you enjoy working with your hands and, and the, the physical aspect of, of using tools and, and doing a job, uh, then this, this curriculum would be something that you need to look at. There is a, a good bit of programming, but there's, that you're not just gonna be a programmer. You know, you're gonna be a multi-skilled electrical technician, which means that you'll, you'll do all of the skill sets, not just the programming. Electrical technicians in manufacturing are, the number per manufacturing facility is going up because the technology used in all of manufacturing is going up exponentially. I mean, we just get more and more automated and autonomous in our manufacturing processes, which means that we have to have a really skilled person to maintain those processes and keep them functioning. So the, the maintenance technicians today are all by and large ha have a huge electrical background to be able to do what they do with the automated processes that we manufacture today. And it doesn't matter what you're manufacturing, whether you're building cars or tires or body parts or, you know, it doesn't matter. All manufacturing processes are automated at a really high level today and continuing to grow in that, in that area. First American offers online and mobile banking features to make your banking experience easy and safe. Activate or deactivate your debit card as needed. Attach images to transactions. Set up text alerts to guard against unauthorized spending or to monitor your account balance. Use the P2P feature to safely send money to a friend. We even offer mobile wallet so you can stay on top of your finances from anywhere. These options and more are available with online or mobile banking. At First American National Bank, you'll get that hometown feel with a high-tech touch. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. When I think of ICC, I think about home. The moment I stepped on campus, I knew it was a perfect fit. It helped me find my true self. It has opened doors for me that I didn't even know existed. Everyone here wants you to succeed. I was able to get involved here and make a real difference. I've met my closest friends here. There's something for everyone to be involved with. I've gained skills to succeed in the workforce. It's been the best experience. We're going to continue our conversation here with the Director of uh, Recruiting and Orientation, Michael Holloway. Uh, 
we're going to talk about uh, how you can set up tours and visit ICC and learn more about ICC. Those are for those students, say, that are still in high school uh, that are thinking about, you know, what their future wants to be. And Michael, tell us more about how they can learn more about ICC. Well, I want to talk about one thing you mentioned is about the fans missing the show during the summer. Mm -hmm. That's how we feel about the students. There you go. And so yes. the students are the lifeblood of the campus. And during the summer, it's kind of quiet around here. Yes. And uh, you can walk around and go to different meetings and things like that. And everybody's kind of uh, everybody's kind of missing, yeah. missing interaction with students. So yes. uh, in our office, we have um, two student organizations in recruiting and orientation. We talked to you a little bit about our orientation leaders and how important they are and welcoming our new students on campus. But it all starts uh, with recruiting and uh, meeting families and prospective students in the community, out at schools, different events. And uh, one of those student organizations that helps us with that is our Indian delegation. That's our student recruiters. We have 40 of those to total. Nice. 30 uh, housed here in Fulton and 10 in Tupelo. Um, but we are one big organization. And uh, speaking of that, we just uh, concluded our three-day Indian delegation retreat. Mm -hmm. And so that was our uh, first little um Fun time um, leading up to the start of classes where we brought all of them on campus. Uh, they got to, no matter where they're attending in Tupelo or Fulton, they got to uh, tour all three of our locations and see just what all, all uh, ICC offers. And the big takeaway from that is, wow, I didn't realize we offered that much. Yeah. Um, so we spent three days with them building those bonds, building that team, and then they're there to help uh, with campus tours, college fairs, and, and various things throughout the year. So um, Indian Delegation is a, a great group of students uh, who we work with and, and work very hard with yes. throughout the year. I, I, I'll, I'll back you up on that. That is a group that does work hard, but they are there, the uh, heartbeat of the college for sure when it, when it comes to doing the recruiting and helping other students as well. All right, so say I'm a parent and I've got a junior in high school, and we're very curious about ICC, and we want to come see ICC. So how do we go about setting up a tour? Well, junior year is a great time to start visiting college campuses. Senior year is, seems like there's lots of deadlines that, mm -hmm. that hit for college, as well as all of those senior moments that you're taking in throughout the year, the last football games and, and uh, different sporting events and band events and all of those things that are – considered their their senior year celebrations. And um, so junior year is a great time to start. And what I would encourage parents or prospective students who are listening uh, to come visit us. We offer campus tours Monday through Friday on all three of our locations, Fulton, Tupelo, and Belden. Uh, they can schedule that online and the um, you can easily find that on our homepage of our iccms.edu website, or you can go directly to the tour site, which is tours.iccms.edu. Um, so that's uh, appropriate for um, an individual who wants to come by themselves or up to uh, four other guests. So that could be friends uh, or family members who, who want to attend. Um, it's a great experience. Uh, the whole uh, purpose of a college tour is to just get your feet on campus, mm -hmm. walk around, and see what it's like. See if you can see yourself here. Mm -hmm. This is where you feel comfortable. It's a good sign that's, a, that's where you should go to college. Absolutely. And I promise once you come see ICC, uh, you'll understand why a lot of people like to call this place home. So for those tours, what do what do the, what can they expect? I know uh, whenever a few years ago, whenever I was at Mississippi State, I went on a tour just a few years ago. Uh, it was a lot of walking. Uh, so, you know, tell us about just uh, the options you have here for your tours. Absolutely. So typically a tour you can expect about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Um, you'll check in at our recruiting offices eight, on uh, whichever campus you uh, come for your tour on. You're going to have a one-on-one -on -one with one of our student recruiters, and they're going to take you through um, a lot of our um, offerings, uh, the cost of attendance, how you pay for that with different scholarships, institutional, state, federal, all of those options. And then you'll learn about various other areas of college the college experience and those offerings, uh, including student activities. Um, then at the conclusion of that meeting, you'll go out on campus. Um, we try to tailor that to students' interest. So if they let us know in their interest form when they sign up for a tour, we can kind of schedule those meetings ahead, uh, whether they're interested in one of our clubs or organizations or a specific academic area. 
um, but then they also just get a general tour of campus. Typically, that's given uh, on a golf cart yes. or in one of the ICC vehicles. Um, we we usually have two going at a time uh, throughout the day, but there's um, various time slots, uh, both in the morning and afternoon, Monday through Friday, for you to schedule a tour. And I do notice that every once in a while there's a school bus here that brings a group of uh, students as a whole. Uh, is that something you guys still offer? We do, and that's typically every Friday. Okay. So you, those those uh, school buses typically roll in on Fridays. Uh, that's a day where uh, with students' class schedules being Monday through Thursday, uh, our students are pretty jam-packed, and uh, our Indian delegates, we re rely on them heavily for those large group tours. So we, we try to push those out till Friday uh, mornings, and uh, it allows us to have plenty of hands on deck to have more uh, small group experiences for those large uh, senior and junior classes that come in to visit. Uh, they can schedule that just by reaching out to our recruiting office, and um, we'll help get those scheduled as well. Awesome. Now, give that website one more time for the tours. Tours.iccms.edu. And then, of course, they can find more about the uh, recruiting office contacts at iccms.edu. Well, Michael, I appreciate your time today. Uh, anything else you want to add before I let you go? We uh, we would love for to invite everyone out uh, to take a campus tour. feels like that's a, a, a big step in the process of choosing where to go to college. Please visit that uh, website address, which is tours.iccms.edu, and we look forward to seeing you on campus in the future. And we'll be back more of the ICC Hour right after this. Why settle for a checking account that just holds your money? Renaissance Rewards Extra gives you so much more, like savings at more than 400,000 retailers, 24 7 roadside assistance. A cell phone protection plan worth up to $400. $25 in ATM fee refunds per monthly cycle. And a great interest rate when you meet three easy qualifications. Get extra today at rewardsextra.com. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Ankle sprains are one of the most common sports injuries with an estimated 25,000 occurring every day in the United States. Sprains can happen with any sport including just walking across the yard. Ankle sprains are most common in ball sports such as basketball, soccer, volleyball, and others. As with any injury, your body quickly sends blood to start healing the process, which leads to the swelling. Rest, ice, compression, elevation, known as rice, is a good way to treat an ankle sprain. This decreases the swelling, lessens your pain, and allows your body to heal the injury. Studies have shown that the sooner you return to activity, the better and typically the faster you will recover. Depending on the amount of injury to the ligaments, it may be days, weeks, or even months to return to high-intensity sports. Sometimes recovery may be slow, but if it gets better day by day or week by week, you are on the right path. If the ankle seems to stop improving and you just can't get back to your activities, then it's time to come see us at the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Remember, our story is you. I've gotten uh, several degrees in other subjects, and I've been working restaurants most of my life, so it kind of just fell into place to where let's get more experience, more information, more training, so I can take over like a restaurant and manage. I've worked all around the state, out of state. I first started up in Memphis, worked around Virginia, moved down to Mississippi, and then just uh, been working restaurants most of my life. You can work your way from the ground up, but there's also more things involved in that where you just need that extra level of training. And that's when I decided to go to go back to ICC and get my degree there again. It just kind of fell into place to where found, I found out that they were doing a hospitality program and I decided to apply. The online program, I was able to basically takes go to school around my work schedule so it's not like I'm having to take off from work and I could uh, get all my work done ahead of time and on specific, have everything turned in on specific days so I'm not having to play catch up anywhere or miss work. Just that right amount of time to where you get in, you get some training, you get some uh, learning and uh, possibly some uh, certifications under your belt and then when you get out into the uh, market it might help you uh, find a better place to start working on your career. Everything that I learned in the program is relevant 
to what I'm doing on currently. Um, I mean, everything from like food cost, uh, uh, human resources management, uh, dealing with customer relations, guest relations, uh, social media marketing, things like that. It's all very, very relevant nowadays. I was able to get my uh, ServeSafe certification, which is uh, important for managers. The best advice is just to go in with an open mind and a good attitude and you'll, you'll probably succeed. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. should we get? To the decision wheel. Oh. Remember your dream. Come on, Billy. On the one side. Oh. Billy! <laughs> Italian sausage. Yeah. And green pepper. These neighbors are weird. Get a large two-topping thin crust pizza for $8.99. Order online for pickup or delivery. Pizza, pizza. Yes. <laughs> Look at him. He's so extra. He doesn't have to worry about breaking his cell phone because he has Renaissance Rewards Extra. And since my bank doesn't offer cell phone protection, I have to make sure mine's protected myself. His bank protects his, so he can work out worry-free. Ah! You don't have to be extra to get extra. Open a Renaissance Rewards Extra account today. And that's going to do it for this week's ICC Hour. I do appreciate everybody uh, that stuck around for the show and tuned in. If you happen to miss any of today's show, uh, you can hear in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, it'll be available on our YouTube channel. All you got to do is search The ICC Hour on YouTube. That's The ICC Hour over there on YouTube. Uh, you can see this show, previous shows as well. Uh, you can also uh, be sure to su subscribe to that page. And while you're doing that, subscribe to our athletic YouTube page. Simply search Let's Go ICC. That's all one word. Let's Go ICC. Uh, tons of videos, averaging right around four or five a week that we put up there. Some of them we advertise on social media. Other ones we don't because we do want to give our loyal YouTube followers some bonus features there that uh, isn't necessarily made for the general public. So that's going to do it for this week's show. I do appreciate Coach uh, Travis Macon for stopping by and talking to us, along with Michael Holloway. Again, we do want to encourage you to schedule your trips, your tours. Come visit us anytime at any three of our locations, whether it be Fulton, Tupelo, or Belden. Visit iccms.edu. That's iccms.edu for more information. And, of course, as we talked about, football starts this Thursday night, 7 o'clock, that First American National Bank Opening kick against number six, Jones, right here in Fulton. Make your plans to come join us. Visit letsgoicc.com. Again, that's letsgoicc.com. You can find all the game day information, all the information you need, and more there as well for this upcoming football game. And be sure and follow us on your favorite social media platforms. For the overall college, it's Itawamba CC, all one word, Itawamba CC. And for the athletic side of ICC, it's Let's Go ICC. Again, thanks for all of you that have listened to the show. Thanks to our sponsors. If you would like to sponsor this show or maybe some ICC athletics, feel free to reach out to me at 862-8059. That's 862-8059. Have a blessed week, and as always, Roll Tribe. Kirk Herbstreet is a man of many talents. Not only an athlete and a sportscaster, but also an expert cartographer, an amateur alchemist, a surprisingly gifted poet. What rhymes with encroachment? But his true talent lies in the art of banking. With Renaissance Bank's great products, rewards, and easy-to-use online tools, every transaction is a masterpiece. You might refer to Kirk as a Renaissance man. But I call myself a Renaissance man.
They say Diet Coke is a mom's drink. Well, you copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Now, copy her drink. Drink what your mama gave you. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. We be worth it, Crow! <gasps> what topic should we get? To the decision wheel. Come on, Dilly! Dilly! <laughs> Italian sausage! And green pepper. These neighbors are weird. Get a large two-topping thin crust pizza for $8.99. Order online for pickup or delivery. Pizza, pizza. Yes. Precision manufacturing and machining is the process of taking raw materials of any type and making an end product or a component for a uh, another type of product. Precision manufacturing program is a two-year degree program. So with our degree, there's a couple different avenues we can take. Uh, some students go directly into the tool and die field. We also go into general machining, which is the taking of uh, raw materials and making just in parts or products or pieces or whatever the case may be. Our program does offer certifications. It is through the NIMS Corporation, which is a National Institute of Metal uh, Society and they do offer uh, certifications in each individual component of our program, whether it being milling machines, uh, turning lace, CNC mills and CNC lace. So those are national certifications. Demand for our uh, students is high at this moment. We do have um, employers from all in, around our area and outside our area calling, looking for students with our skills. The average uh, salary for uh, precision machining especially in the CNC field, is around 65, 70,000 a year. But most of the times our, our class does top out around 20 and um, it is open enrollment. So all of our core classes are, are in one uh, large uh, shop or lab as we call it. Um, we're here on first year students or Mondays and Wednesdays, usually from eight o'clock to about 4.30 on Monday and Wednesdays. Second year students are Tuesday and Thursdays from eight to 4.30. So all classes are at Belden. With the Precision uh, Manufacturing Program, we do uh, have uh, internships available. A lot of industry in our areas do come in and offer internships through our uh, internship program every fall. Gene Haas Foundation is a major contributor to our program. They are big in education, so we do get a grant every year to help subsidize some of our students' uh, uh, tuition costs. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Playing on tour takes years of dedication. Hours of practice. Focused precision. And nerves of steel. That's how you become great at the game, but not how you should bank. That's why Ali Ewing chose Renaissance Bank. Their easy-to-use app makes banking a breeze, no matter where she is. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. If you want to break the rock, you need to make yourself indestructible. If you want to play between the hedges, you need to work out there, up there, down there, everywhere. If you want to reach the win bar, you need to lose sleep, lose count. You need to play every game like you got nothing to lose. Here, you can be your best. The best train here. Learn here. Succeed here. 
Perform here. Win here. Thrive here. Itawamba Community College. The best start here. Brought to you by Renaissance Bank. The bank that understands you. Learn more at renaissancebank.com.